Hi, this is Rodrigo from Take Break Action, and today I have a question of what questions should I ask to my freelancer in order to know that he is a good one. Now, this is like kind of tricky because you are really not going to know if he's a good one until it's too late. <laughs> so, part of it, uh, you will have to risk yourself and your gut and take it, but there are some questions that are useful to ask and to see that he has certain quality. The first one that I would like to ask to a freelancer that you are hiring on Odesk or Elance or whatever is can you tell me a, a little bit about yourself? And that is completely irrelevant <laughs> but what you want to see is how he writes because he, he now needs to talk about him and to do that he will have to write a lot of things and you can see how bad his English is <laughs> and remember this is a this is a business you need communication between them uh, you don't want to do deals with a guy who doesn't understand you and especially if you're like me whose uh, English is not my first language and I already commit some little mistakes and I don't want to be even making it harder to somebody else to understand me who barely understands English already and I don't want to be fighting about it either I don't want to be fighting about understanding it I, I, I mean already it's not my first language so I need it to be easy on me so yeah th that will be the first question to tell them to talk more about themselves so that way, uh, you will see how good it, their English is. <laughs> and the next thing is about uh, to answer for the portfolio or experience. For example, if you're doing coding, web design, video, or, or hiring him for whatever it is, you want to see some examples. Now, if you're doing video or you're doing like uh, voiceover or something like that, you can ask for a five second sample of his work like to do uh, five second samples of what you want to do uh, most probably they are going to uh, be okay with it they are going to do it they are going to show it to you and so that way you can see if, if their work if what they are doing is congruent to what they are showing because I mean it is internet man you can grab a lot of links and put it into your resume and say that you did it <laughs> so you have to take care of that and that will uh, and again I would like to the second thing no the third thing will be to uh, start with a test like pay him as slow as you can you can uh, start like a 10 hour test or 5 hour test whatever and you say that it is just a test to see how they are working and this is going to be good with virtual assistants who are helping you with emailing and things like that uh, you want to see how they work you want to see their attitude you want to see uh, how they treat you and how they how serious they take your job and the thing is that you can uh, pay like one dollar per hour at first to see how good they are and then you can start paying a uh, better salary after that like two or three dollars per hour I, I don't know uh, it's up to you but again uh, you need to test them first you need to make sure that they are good and that they can stay consistent because let's face it uh, even I have put a lot of work into some jobs in the past and when I felt that I had it secure I started to be lazy I was not the best employee in my life I have to admit it but uh, you now this is your business this is what is going to generate you money it's not about some boss on people who don't, you don't see or some CEO it's about you so you need to make sure that they are good so ask those three questions like uh, to talk about themselves, to show you a sample of their work, to do a, a little sample for you to see if their work is congruent with what they have shown you and as well to start with a little test period that is if you want to keep him working with you like in the long term and that is pretty much what we are looking 
So that that's it. That's pretty much four tests that you can run to see how good the freelancer is. But at the end of the day, you will have to take some risk, <laughs> and you can re go through all of them. And Odesk lets you add these questions, so you can put it themselves, and the people can start working on them and show it to you. So yeah, that's pretty much is what you can do. And then risk and hope that everything doesn't suck. <laughs> okay, I hope this has helped you. And if you found this useful, please, please subscribe to my channel. Please like this video and share it uh, in your social networks. And subscribe to my email list. And if you have any other questions, just ask in the sidebar right next to it. So, this is Rodrigo. Take reaction. Go hustle.